Take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction, let us show you the way. The causes of cystic acne, these include hormonal changes, diet, stress, use of certain makeup or skincare products, and, of course, genetics. Regular pimples and cystic acne share the same common causes. Make your mark, take our lead. Still, scientists don't know exactly how stress worsens acne. They do know that cells that produce sebum have receptors for stress hormones, according to Garner. Sebum is the oily substance that mixes with dead skin cells and bacteria to clog the hair follicles, leading to a pimple or acne cyst. Take our lead. When androgen hormones become too high, there is an increase in sebum production. Sebum is the oil in your skin that causes acne. So, when your body starts to develop more oil in the skin it can result in breakouts and cysts. Take our lead. Skin purging typically looks like tiny red bumps on the skin that are painful to touch. They are often accompanied by whiteheads or blackheads. It can also cause your skin to become flaky. The flare-ups caused by purging have a shorter lifespan than a breakout. Take our lead. Causes of cystic acne Cystic acne occurs when bacteria, dead skin cells, and sebum, the substance that makes your face feel oily, get trapped beneath the skin surface and become infected. This leads to a large, swollen cyst, bump, that can hurt just to touch. Make your mark, take our lead. These are pink or red dome-shaped bumps, varying in size from a pinhead to half an inch. There's no visible fluid and they don't contain pus. They are usually painless unless scratched or picked. Like all pimples, papules are the result of an increase in oil and bacteria inside the pore trapped by dead skin cells. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.